Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Everything Under the Sun. My name is Taylor Moss and I'm going to be showing you guys your second Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the explosion modifier and a little bit on particle systems. So if we go in here and uh, we erase this default cube, uh, we can add ourselves a UV sphere. Uh, for the purpose of this, we're going to have to have more than these original uh, 3216. So uh, try adding 64 segments and 64 rings. Uh, that just adds a lot more vertices to this, so it looks a little bit better for what we're doing. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we need to add a particle system. So for this particle system, we just click the particle systems and click the plus. Um, so if you press Alt-A, you can see what happens by default when you just add a generic particle system. But there's two things we need to do to this. One, we need it to go a lot faster because an explosion doesn't slowly explode. It explodes really fast. So I'm going to change the end time here to 10 to see how that looks. That looks much more like an explosion in terms of time. So then we need to add some geometry to the thing. So if we turn up this random modifier, you can see how it adds a little more geometry from random locations. So in fact, let's turn it up to about uh, 12 here and press Alt-A to see what happens. So that looks pretty much like an explosion would as far as those emitters go. But you can see that the original mass here, this ball, isn't actually being affected by this. So what we can do to fix that is... Um, Oh, for, okay. Well, the first thing we need to do is go down here. Uh, if we actually render any of this out, um, you'll see that there's these glowing things around the particles because they are particles, like uh, sparks from fireworks and stuff like that. So they usually have this ambiance glow. The first thing we we'll want to do is turn those off so we can't see those. Uh, next thing we we'll want to do is we'll want to go to the modifiers tab and. Uh, go to the beginning of our timeline and add an explosion modifier so now what will happen as we go through is it will actually take parts of the material we're using and add them to the particles so if we render this out you can see that that's exploding um, we can go back to the particle emitter if we want and turn down the amount of chunks uh, that seems a little excessive for something like this so uh, I'm gonna try something like 500 so as you can see here it slowly blows up and it's really cool you can do this trick with pretty much anything in blender um, you don't need to do any shape mapping or anything you just have to have the explode modifier um, a lot of people do something really short like uh, say five frames or something to make it uh, look a little more real so if we uh, hit play on this from the beginning I mean, that's pretty fast. Depending on the type of explosion you can have, I've seen someone do it as low as three frames for this explosion to actually go down. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, this lifetime right here is how long the particles will fly fly around or float down after that. Um, so if, say, let's set this back to 10. Say we want to um, have a nice cool pan around the view as we do this. Uh, if we click on our camera and press I, it'll bring up this, and we can click a location, rotation, and scale. And then let's say by the end of all this, we would like to be um, on the other side, uh, R, Z to rotate around, and then 0 to check what your view would look like. So something like that. Um, and then we can press I again and add another thing. So as you can see, if we go... It adds this nice 3D pan effect so we can see the explosion from all these different angles. Um, it's a really neat trick. It's pretty easy, and I hope you guys learned something. Thanks.